Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard. Today we're gonna talk about this. The Efrasky R9M Lite Pro module. This is their new long range module. This uh, works at 900 MHz and it outputs a power of maximum 1 watt. And it's really powerful and it should give you a range of at least 10 kilometers if you work at 1 watt. And it's rated even more than that on the website. The module comes in a cool yellow box and inside you will find instructions, the module itself and the antenna. You should really read the instructions. The module comes with a yellow cap and it's made of aluminum to dissipate it better from the one but just screw on the antenna and it's ready to go. Remove the module bay cover and install the new long range module just by aligning the tab and pushing it in. This module is made to fit into the X Lite radios module bay and it's perfect for that. It makes a really satisfying noise when you clip into it. Nice. And this thing is a really compact 1 watt long range setup. And you may ask, hey, but the Tango 2 just came out, why we should pick this one? Well, I like having modules, so I can put, I have Air Force Sky here, so I can use all the Air Force Sky receivers, I have the x Lite S, so it has the, um, the D16 only, you cannot use the 8 on this, and you are supposed to use the new access firmware, and a lot of stuff, but if you get the regular x Lite, you can use your whoops, and then you can plug in whatever module, you can have this module, you can have the XJT module even on this one and you can use your whoop, I just bought one for example. Also you can uh, use like multi-protocol modules, so you can fly whatever drone you like and I like having this uh, expandability let's say. I just bought like four receivers for, for this one, so I'm kinda sold on this. Let me tell you a story about this, because I received this in November 2019. And you may wonder, why didn't I make a video about this? Well, I shot the video and I installed it, and I had the module right here installed on my 5-inch um, drone, and I tried it, and I was amazed. It worked amazing, and the, the radio, if you have the updates, already interfaces with the module, you don't need to do anything, basically, you just it's plug and play, plug, bind and play. And I did some bench tests, I put my drone on and then I went far with, um, with the power really low and it never, it never lost signal, not even like it, it is at 99 constant and it's crazy. Then I went flying and I noticed something weird, the connection wasn't really stable. And I was like, why? It's like super, uh, it has a lot of range, why doesn't it work with the connection? I noticed, I could fly, but the drone was telling me something was uh, not good in the, like, RX loss while I was flying, and it was, wasn't really good. So I went home, and I looked at the, um, at the antenna right here, because that was my, my issue, basically. And I moved, I wiggled it a bit, and basically the life of the antenna wasn't soldered and wasn't touching the the actual, the actual antenna. The antenna has a plastic piece here, I removed this because I had to fix it first and then to save weight. And these antennas, they have a live and a ground. And the live wasn't plugged in, so it was getting a ton of range out of all the ground and, and that was even more crazy, but connection wasn't stable. And I'm like, hey, first guy, if you're sell sending out modules, and this was the latest, mo latest module, this was the R9MM with uh, over the air uh, fun functionality. This was the most, most expensive one. And it's like 30 bucks. You need to do a little better quality control because the antenna was not soldered properly. So I soldered the antenna properly and problems were gone away. So I was like, hey, time to make a review now. No, because as you know, this is the X-Lite S. And this thing, you can charge it using 
a USB cable. Well, it was off. I removed the antenna from this. But for convenience, I, I left the module plugged in, like this. And so I was like, hey, the, draw, the, the radio is off, I'm gonna plug it in. Well, little did I know that when you plug in to charge your radio, the accessory powers on. And this thing was at one watt of power, and it stayed like two hours at one watt without antenna. Well, guess what? The module burned, and I, when I went picking my my radio, it was burning hot. And I immediately wrote to Efros guy, and I was like, "Hey, what the hell? How you can? I mean, it's not the module's fault, I guess. It's the it's the radio's fault. But that's that was completely crazy for me that I cannot leave my module in it. And so I was like, "Hey, this is your fault, you." you need to send me a replacement and they were kind enough and they recognized the issue so got the new one in january this year and i wanted to give it a couple months of trying before reviewing it so i can tell you the things are they are and it's tested well this thing if you remember to check your antenna or even you can buy new ones and they are really cheap and you can be sure or check it also if you never charge this one this thing is bulletproof. I mean, I've, I've been flying almost every day with this thing now. I have it at one watt of power. And it's bulletproof. Really, I cannot say any anything else, because it gives me 99 dBi every time, even if I go far, it's still 99. And it's virtually unlimited range, basically. I never have to worry again about the, the RX. I can really advise going with this setup because the radio is amazing, I like it and this one, uh, if you check the thing I told you, it's bulletproof then and it's really cheaper because the radio is you can find it for 100 bucks this thing is like 60 so you get a cheaper radio than like the Tango 2 that's the, um, the direct competitor also I've seen people that put Crossfire on this but Crossfire is big even the Crossfire Micro and this is much more compact and you don't have to modify it and it works amazing also for receivers there are four different receivers I'm talking about the mini ones so there is the R9 Mini and then there is the R9MM and both versions have their over the air upgraded version and basically you can send updates over the air I've not tested the function functionality because I don't know I like plugging them in and they work just fine and the difference between between the R9 mini and the R9 mm is the mini is cheaper first of all and it doesn't have inverted S port also if you like fidgeting around with your radios this thing now has an update and it supports flex protocol. Flex means you can uh, have variable power basically. So when you are close to you it uses 25 milliwatts and then when you go further it, it, it increases power exponentially. So it has less consumption on your radio and probably less interference if you are in a um, like concrete environment or something like that. To use it, I've tried, you have to go to your OpenTX companion and interface with your radio and uh, you have to select the, um, the flex option and then you have to update both this one and this one to their latest version so they can support it. Wrapping it up, R9M Lite Pro. It's a mouthful of a name, but really it's a nice module for your already nice radio. It's sleek, it's compact, it's really portable and it packs a punch. If you are cautious about the things, things I told you and you remember to unplug it when you go charge your, your radio, this thing will, will last you a lot. And it will give you no worries anymore about your um, RX link. As always you can go into the description below and you will find links with discounts for everything included here and you will support the channel clicking on them. Stay safe and happy flying! Even if we can't really go flying because we are on lockdown.
But hey, happy flying next month. Bye. Thank you.